My name is Oliver Hahn, and I'm a professor at the University of Vienna, shared between the departments of mathematics and astrophysics. My research area is cosmology. So cosmology studies how structure forms in the universe, how from tiny quantum fluctuations shortly after the Big Bang, all the structures that surround us form, how the galaxies and galaxy clusters come about, how the stars in the galaxies form. And so one of the big questions is how does the distribution of galaxies and matter in general in the universe relate to the physics of the universe. And so what can we learn about the fundamental physics of the universe by looking at astrophysical objects? When you hear astrophysics, maybe the first thing you think about are telescopes, but not everyone in astrophysics really works with telescopes. Well, telescopes also are not like the telescope you see behind me today anymore. They are in very distant locations, South America, for example, or in space. But what is just as important is that we model the universe, that we model the processes that we think are going on, and that we have to do with computers, that we have to write programs that model the equations and describe these processes, and then compare these outcomes from these simulations with the observations coming from the telescopes. I think I'm a very visual person, and so I'm very fascinated by patterns in nature in general. And so the book I brought along today is about exactly that, patterns in nature. And so the fascinating thing about nature is really that if you look at the very largest scales, such as the universe, you see patterns that can be very similar to patterns that you see on small scales. So for example, the network of roots of a tree, or bubbles in a foam, or lightnings going through the sky all have similarities and so despite these being very very different phenomena their appearance and the patterns as we perceive them are shaped by very similar equations. I like working as a researcher because you are confronted with new and exciting problems. You're always working with enthusiastic and creative and very motivated young people. You get to travel to exciting places to exchange with researchers the latest ideas and so it's really a fascinating life for me. After a long day I really like to come home and cook a dinner or listen to music, play music even sometimes when I still feel like it or watch a movie, read a book, these kind of things.